Hi there, sorry. Uh, my name is Robin Taylor from uh, Edinburgh University, so welcome to this morning's Petra Kucha session. Um, it's normally entitled uh, National Infrastructures, um, so we've got a nice international uh, group of presenters this morning. Um, uh, the listing is slightly different from that in the programme. We actually have seven um, different presenters, uh, and they're in a slightly different order, but I'm sure you can bear with us on that. Um, first up, we have uh, Ulrika Nimkis from the University of Göttingen. Um, so, without further ado, we'll just bash on just now. So you'll just have to bear with us for a sec. in Germany. I start with an introduction to our project Open Access Statistics. In the second part, I describe how we are transforming the project into a sustainable, reliable, and long-lasting project as service. <laughs> the journal impact factor is highly regarded as an indicator for the quality of a journal and its papers. It's a journal-level metric. The citations are counted for articles in index journals only and with delay. Because of these and more reasons, it is discussed controversially. In contrast, usage statistics are an object-level metric. Immediately, we the best statistics can be calculated regarding all digital objects. It is an alternative metric still in discussion, but with international standards like counter. To establish usage statistics in Germany, the Deutsche Forschungsgemeinschaft DFG is funding and the German Initiative for Network Information, DINI, is supervising the project or statistics. Five German institutions, libraries and the library network are executing the project. The goal is to build up a robust infrastructure in order to count the downloads of documents in repositories and open access journals. The used raw data are web server log files. For an international coordination, European partners have been invited to form a working group on usage statistics organized by the Knowledge Exchange, a consortium of DEF in Denmark, DFG in Germany, JISC in the United Kingdom, and CERF in the Netherlands. A guideline for the aggregation and the exchange of usage data with a specification of the data formats has been developed. 
for the exchange of the URL context objects in XML transferred by OAI PMH have been chosen. Counter is the aggregation standard. The idea is to install local data providers at the repository. When someone downloads a digital object, it is logged into a file by the web server. A parser adds local identifiers and transforms the information to a context, to a context object. A special OI interface offers the data to a central service provider. <coughs> to get an idea how this data looks like, this slide shows you a demo hit in a log file which is transformed into a context object represented in XML. <coughs> the central OIS service provider collects the data via OII and prepares them. It deduplicates hits, filters robots, and aggregates the hits on a daily basis. The calculated statistics are provided for the repositories who may present them to authors or readers. At the moment, we offer either raw data represented in XML or JSON, or usage data graphs, which may be integrated by an iframe into a repository. We plan to implement the Zushi interface as well. Besides counter, we want to offer the standards LogEgg and IFABC. In order to offer this service, after the funding period of our statistics, we cared about a lot of aspects of sustainability. Besides a reliable infrastructure, a business concept and good support need to be considered. But the hardest part was data privacy. The strict German data protection law regards IP addresses as private information with clear restrictions concerning its circulation. Therefore, different technical implementations have to be installed like an opt-out at the repositories and password-protected interfaces. An encoding of the IP addresses has been developed. A salt consisting of random bits is added to the IP address before both is hashed. The service provider must not know the salt. Therefore, the IP addresses are anonymized here and no special treatment is needed anymore. The VZG, the head of the GBV, a German library network, is going to offer the statistics. It provides the infrastructure, cares for support and demands fees. The repositories deliver the data, receive the statistics and pay the fees. A DINI working group supervises the service. Support is given by the project's website, a coverage forum, FAQs, installation guideline for the repository and a workflow document. Of course, email and phone contact is possible as well. Today, we are improving the infrastructure and we integrate the first repositories. For the promotion of the service, we give workshops, e-tutorials, and attend conferences like this one. <coughs> With the end of the project in 2013, we plan to hand over the service completely to the VZG. Since we have a long list of interested repositories, we are sure that the service is going to be well accepted in the community. In the next step, we plan to develop and adjust existing services to enrich repositories with Altmetrics 2. This could be a crowdsourced peer review with Twitter tweets or blogs referring to the document or counting the number of uploads of an article into a reference management system. I'm glad to answer your questions here at the conference or via email. Thank you very much for your attention. <laughs>